Hello Pisces, I'm Susie from The Gift Hotel 2. This is your weekly read, but this can be a, a two weekly read also because the spread is a fortnightly spread. Um, so the times may go over. Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Pisces to know about this week of the 16th of the... 16th of January for Pisces, Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe. Come to guide us and give some information for Pisces. Pisces, 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 angels, spirit guides of Pisces, what would you like Pisces to know, what would you like Pisces to know about this week of the 16th, for the next 7 days, or to 7 to 14 days for Pisces please, angels, spirit guides, what would you like Pisces to know, Pisces, 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 for the next seven days on the 16th of January. Oh, God, I kind of turn it over. Oh, right, okay, Pisces, bottom of the deck, we've got all oh, the Nine of Swords. What's going on this week? Aquarius wasn't this great either, but we've got a self sabotage and overthinking. Get out of your mind this week, um, Pisces. We've got the Emperor with the King of Swords. There could be something legal going on with a boss um, or a Libra or an Aries. But Pisces, there's some kind of, could be a doctor or surgeon, military person. There's something of your feeling at the top of your game. There's someone telling you that, or telling you something. They're telling you the truth. Or it could be to do with a father figure. That's a legal matter to do with a father figure. Um that's leaving you, that you're worried about. You're very, very worried to hear that people are stabbing you in the back, that you've, you're depressed, you can't get out of bed. Um, justice is coming in to tell these witches to just back off, you know, and the sun's starting to rise. You're going to be offered a celebration here. Um, it could be that you found out about a third party situation. It could be to do with two people, two masculines. Um, there's a, but I'm, I'm really drawn to the triangle. I keep getting my eye on. There's a triangle in this in this um, card. Uh, it could be that you were in a triangle because I've got the three of cups and the three of pentacles. So there's a team of people, and you could have found out here uh, about this situation. And you're very very cold to the warmth of relationship. It's like I'm no no BS. I'll tell you the truth. I'm out. Okay, I'm out out. Right. I'm investing my energy elsewhere. And actually, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think of you. I'm going to end this worse the second time. Um, where you've got this money that you've worked for, this this abundance of energy or the, this thing, you you seem to drop those the thought or the overwhelm of the Ten of Swords down to the Five, where you get angry and you want to finish something. You want to terminate something. It's like, I'm going to tell them about themselves. I'm going to, you know, all the things that I should have said I'm going to say. Um, there's some kind of institution here, a teacher, a commitment, a Taurus, and um, there's lots of, uh, it could be um, a commitment to a child or a teenage child that is t talking smack, they, don't, they not, don't have enough information, they don't have enough, um, it's a warning not to gossip, don't listen to gossip, it, it could be a new offer of a commitment, but at the moment I feel because of this it could be something that happened while you were on a date or you're at work you could be getting a promotion and some kind of upgrade and because of this you're able to really get out of a commitment or out of um a third party situation someone is spying on you someone's blowing hot air they're telling lies um and this is causing you to feel overwhelmed and and, and sabotage anything that comes near you because you've just done with uh, it could be a boss or a father figure or some kind of uh, lawyer or something that, that in in law and I, I don't know if it's law because I see the celebration I see the upgrade of a job you're doing you you you're not BSing anymore it's like go away um, I'm investing somewhere else someone might come and say something nasty to you about a commitment this week or come to your work or come and say something that's not true. Um, and this is really worrying you. It's sort of overwhelming you. Um, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Uh, it's just that 
there's a burnt bridge here. There's no going back once this, this thing is talked about. So if you don't want to burn a bridge, be quiet. You know, you can be truthful and invest somewhere else without taking this to a fight or a narcissistic attack then nobody wins, okay? Um, angels, spirit guides, you're already on your spiritual path. Maybe someone's jealous of your commitment and they're jealous of your work or your your uh, spiritual commitment. Angels, spirit guides. This could be a Gemini or a Taurus. We've got Aries, um, Libra. Angels, spirit guides, universe and um, Aquarius. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? Okay, I've just seen we have got the king and queen of swords here. The emperor, you feel actions being taken legally that's upsetting you, that's worrying you. There's a third party situation. It could be at work. It could be from you met this person out in the club and now you're they're offering you a job. It could be something between a boss. There's a lot of knowledge around here. You a lot of thought about something and and you're you're wondering whether to take a gamble. Someone could end a relationship this week or end a commitment because of what someone said. Angel spirit guides, what would you like Pisces to know? Pisces. Um, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This could be a father figure that is causing you worry. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Keep an open mind. Angel spirit guides, what would you like? The number four is very significant. Angel, spirit, guides, universe, what would you like Pisces to know about this week? Um, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It's like you're investing somewhere else and you're going to give a last like boot to someone, say something and something maybe in a commitment which it, you don't need to do angel spirit guides be graceful angel spirit guides what would you like but sometimes some people do need to be told about themselves to be fair <laughs> don't let me cheat a little bit pisces saying that five of swords five of swords oh yeah, be careful what you say this week because you could misread something. Because you don't have enough information about it. So it could get it's like you could self sabotage something that could have healed or. Yeah, be careful. Don't just be quiet. If you, if you, if it's like the what's that thing? If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Hold on. So there could be something you say something about a work situation. Uh, someone could say nasty words, and you want to say these nasty words back, but you might be in a work kind of environment. And you could lose your job over it or something like that. You know, box clever here. Page of swords. <sighs> it's an odd one. You need to make sure that your perception of something is real. It's saying keep an open mind. Very soon your soulmate's coming in. The situation is healing. Don't overburden your worry and mind about things that you don't know anything about yet. Um, the Queen of Swords, she just, she just, she speaks her truth. She, she literally throws the baby out with the bathwater. She's like, I don't want a relationship. I don't want to be here. Where do I invest my energy now? And, and, and also with the Five of Swords, I'm going to invest somewhere else and I'm going to, um, tell your boss what you did last night or something like that it's like oh maybe i shouldn't have said that <laughs> um but you will perceive things clearly hopefully just 
don't it's it's not as you there's something that it's not as you see it but it says Corp, conditions aren't favorable right now wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you you're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Set an example. You don't need to degrade yourself down to a narcissistic level because someone just wants to have, like go back, going back to a relationship for the second time and then ha telling each other the C word. You're an absolute C, you know, or just being gaslit to the point of like, I'm going to tell your secrets now. It doesn't really matter. Let it go. Let it go. Because someone here could speak nasty words and it could cause more trouble than it's worth. And then you find out, well, actually, that wasn't the truth. It's just that you're flying too high. Be the example. Angels, spirit guides, universe. People might be just really jealous of you. Angels, spirit guides. What would you like? I don't see the jealousy card here. <sighs> It just could be like something in the family, something that's causing you to be depressed. There's a group of women here. It could be a wedding. There's an upgrade of a job. Someone could, you could get a job and someone didn't and that they're having a go at you because you got it and they should have got it. Or, you know, and it, there's no need to talk about it. Just um, people gonna, well, they'll come up to your thinking sooner or later. Angels, spirit guides, universe. But there could be an ending this week if people don't say the right thing. Angel, spirit, guide, universe. What would you like Pisces to know? Pisces, 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 Pisces. Sorry, I'm not. The reason they're not coming out. I'm not saying the right thing. The person most on Pisces' mind. What would they like to say to Pisces? Okay. My life is not as together as it seems. Sorry. Um, finding out the truth crushed me. I can't stop thinking about you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I don't react when people mention you. I'm not available. I love you. I will love you unconditionally. I want you. My life is not as together as it seems. Someone may be... They've got a depression and they want to date you, but you're very, very cold because of something to do with maybe a third party or something to do with what happened because they're always working all the time. Um, it's like, where do I, I've worked really hard, where do I invest my energy now? It's like sabotaging something that maybe could be your soulmate. Hold on, I've made these ones. I'm starting to understand our connection. The timing just wasn't right for us. I couldn't let you get close to me. There could have been like a timing thing. If you find yourself overthinking something, overdoing something, um, go and light a candle, go for a walk, uh, get near water, um, and go to sleep. Sometimes it's just like best just to. It's. I think this person's telling you the truth, but it's very hard to get over something that's happened. Um, they might want to commit to you, but the, if there's too too much water could have gone under the bridge, or there's not enough information. It's like you don't have enough information yet to make a decision. Some people are threatened by you. It's the, the conditions aren't favourable for you to make a decision right now. It's just keep keep up there. Set an example. Don't go down to their level. That's what I would say. I like the light on my nails. <laughs> um, give me one more. Where's the book of my angel cards? What have I done with the book? It's Aurora. If you Google Aurora, I can't find the book for the angels anymore. It's gone. It's usually on my table. Where is it? No. Um, 
but yeah, you're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend. Don't go down to someone's level. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And they're saying it's your soulmate. And very soon, decide what you want. Maybe you need to heal some family issues. Maybe this person needs to heal some family issues. Um, but you'll perceive things clearly by the end of the week, I feel. And take care, Pisces. I hope I've helped you. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.